That's not gonna work. We need to find a solution. Let's have a look. How's it going, everybody? Are you like me and have had negative and annoying experiences with electromagnetism, i.e. interference with your guitar sound? Well, on this episode of Basement Gas, we're gonna look at a, hopefully, easy, practical, and cost-efficient way of shielding your electrics in your guitar. We're gonna conquer this using this. My name's Jack, and I still have a serious case of gas. we open the back up we're gonna see there's <clears throat> I've, I haven't done anything in here so I'm guessing it's this is just the stock standard from Gibson so I can get it open and uh, you can see it's just a piece of plastic no insulation also on the inside they've got a uh, their Gibson circuit board it has the different um, it doesn't have any dip switches. This is a 2014 model, but it's got the push-pull functions on the pots for phase switching and also coil tapping or splitting. Yeah, you can see there's no insulation here. Now the one piece that I've certainly noticed, which could make a big difference, is going to be on this piece of plastic. So let's see if we can get some insulation on this to stop interference coming in from your phone. So this is just standard copper tape. This is great for insulation and it stops um, interference of electromagnetism. So this is something you can get at your local hardware store or even on Amazon or any other sort of online shop. And um, once you actually pull it off, we'll see in a second, it just, it's got a sticky surface and it's a very thin piece. So I'm gonna take some off here and literally just completely cover the back plate here. I should probably dust off the back plate first so it's adhesive. So just a bit of dusting. Shouldn't be too sticky. And I'm going to take the copper tape now and just completely cover the one side. Try to smoothen it down as best you can just to Make it look a little pretty. Obviously, this is not the side that shows. You should probably actually just cut strips, but I'm just doing it quickly here just to show you guys. So this is what it's supposed to look like at the end. Uh, just make sure that the inside panel is covered in this copper tape, and the outside is obviously completely, you know, this is the outside part, so that doesn't need to be done. And um, we'll screw it in, and let's see if we can actually hear a tone difference. So, phone is in the pocket. And volume's turned up. Let's uh, turn off the tuner and let's get some volume. So, did my little experiment work? No, it did not. Did we learn something? Yes, we did. Copper tape on the back 
of the plate of your guitar does not necessarily stop um, electromagnetic interference. Do I have a better solution? Not yet, but I will continue looking and trying to find the best solution to help out you guys. Now, if you might actually have to do the whole cavity inside, so not just the plate, but also everything that's inside where the electronics are, I have to try that out. But I'm also working on another guitar at the moment where I'm gonna be doing exactly that. So that's something that I might be able to show you guys. If it works, if it doesn't, then we've learned something else again. Learn by failing. Anyway, um, my name's Jack and uh, copper gas. Copper fumes, copper gas. Well, anyway, I still have a serious case of gas <coughs> and hay fever. See you guys soon.